That's good. Y'all might be here today for a real. Before we begin, please go subscribe if you are new. My name is Michael. And pretty much. Oh shit, the video already started, but I'll do my intro right now. So pretty much just go subscribe and do what you gotta do. All right, let's go watch this. What a fat boy. You could win 10 games. I'll be nuts. I'll, you might win 10 games. But I'm not gonna. How do you jump from 8 to 10? Okay, just to be confirmed, I said might. I never said that you are gonna win 10 games. I said you might win 10 games, but you're really taking shit that I'm saying out of content, Minnie. Packers are not winning 13 games. They currently have five wins. They're not winning 13 games. They're losing six, at worst seven. No, at worst it's eight. I never said the Bears were the best team in the NFL. I just said the Bears are going to rebound from last season. The worst record we ever had under head coach Matt Nagy was 8-8. Eight and eight. And statistically, 8-8 eight and eight ain't a bad year. But, you know, we're 5-2. and two. I do think we can beat Drew Brees next week, you know. Even if we do struggle – We'll still find a way to win because the Saints have been looking hot lately. I'm tired of explaining why they're not going to win the division. I'm tired of explaining. We were in one thing together. Some of, and these two people, I'm, I'm concerned Sam Olsen is also a Packers fan because he would have never had any reason. Because what a shit I... We all know I really shit on the Vikings and he's a Vikings fan. And I'm convinced he's a Packers fan. Otherwise, he wouldn't be shitting on me saying, oh, I might be a Vikings fan, and I am a Vikings fan, but I can at least admit Ron was good. Yeah, he was good, but he's not good anymore. By the way, this is terrible, terrible sound effect. I don't really know why. Michael, please do a small favor. Not your life. End the bad, bad criticism. The stupid, retarded parts. No, if, if there's Vikings fans admitting Sam Olsen's in our group chat. Well, let me tell you something. If a Vikings fan is defending Aaron Rodgers, then clearly he hasn't been paying attention. Sam Olsen, you know, pretty, pretty much is currently a bum right now because... Sorry, I'm not sure because I do have sound effects because I'm living in a loud neighborhood right now. Sam Olson is a Packers fan. I'm convinced because no Vikings fan would defend Aaron Rodgers. They hate Aaron Rodgers. When Anthony Barr tore his shoulder, every single Vikings fan laughed at Aaron Rodgers. Every single Vi every single Lions fan was making fun of Aaron Rodgers. Every single Bears fan was singing about was laughing at Aaron Rodgers. He has no business. If he's a Vikings fan, he has no business defending Aaron Rodgers. All right, just keeping it above fifty. I love Vikings. I love I love the Vikings fan base. So shout out to all my Vikings people that are watching this video right now. You know, I hope you beat Green Bay next week. If you don't, they need to make a move. Oh, 
shout out to them, by the way, Sam Olson. You're a good dumbass. Those Vikings fans that literally are agreeing that Rodgers is still good because he is. Because there's nobody saying, there's nobody in this entire world that's saying he's not good except you, by the way. So that, yeah, no. Many, oh shit, why is it still reloading? Many, but while this is reloading, I'll say this. Many YouTubers have admitted that Aaron Rodgers isn't good anymore. And that's why they got Jordan Love, because he's not good anymore. Aaron Rodgers ain't been that same guy since Anthony Barr tore his shoulder out the sideline in Minnesota. He returned back from his collarbone injury. He threw like two picks against the Panthers. And he hasn't been that same guy since. Now, credit, that was because of injury. Then 2018, he tanked the season and get McCarthy fired. And that was already confirmed. He was he was blowing these games just to get McCarthy fired. Well, let me tell you something. There were many games that Aaron Rodgers could have won. He could have won the Patriots game. He could have won against the Los Angeles Rams. He almost lost to the... Who was C.J. Moser, the whoever the 49ers backup was? Because I know it wasn't Garoppolo. I know. They, they should have lost to the 49ers. They got swept by the Lions that year. They should have lost to the Vikings if they made that field goal. They should have lost to the Bears. It was pretty much conf- – they should have got swept by the Bears. It was pretty mu- much in the fact that Aaron Rodgers hated Mike McCarthy that season and plus Packers fans thought they were winning that division that year because Aaron Rodgers was back and he was back with vengeance. All right. Well, let's get into more of this troll. When, when people are admitting that from other rival teams, I think it's time for rival teams. It's sort of because you might as well just give up because you're not making any sense whatsoever. He doesn't have it anymore. He needs to retire. Bruh. Aaron Rodgers' bad worst season by far, statistically, was this year. He still had a 13 and 3 record. All right. So you're saying that statistically, the worst we've seen out of Aaron Rodgers was 2019, and you're saying you're still at a 13 and 3 record, and you still and you still made a championship. Well, let's go back to your other video. All right. Let's go back to your video, and you said. When I told you Aaron Rodgers was washed, in that when you looked at that, you said he had 26 touchdowns, four interceptions. That's not a bad year. But right now you're saying the worst we've seen out of Aaron Rodgers was this because because he was bad in 2019. He was garbage in 2018 because I already told you why he didn't like my Carfi. Then he comes. I I'll say it once. I'll say it again. Aaron Rodgers has not been that same mobile dude he was ever since Anthony Barr told, tore his shoulder out the sideline of Minnesota. All right. You take away – you take away that game against the Panthers, 2018 and 2019 have been his worst years because I'll exempt 2017 because of his injury. And not only that, it took a blown, like, when it was, like, 2013 when he, it took a blown coverage call for him to make the playoffs. Yeah, that happened. If that call was not blown, or, excuse me, if that play wasn't blown coverage, you would miss the playoffs. All right? Us Bears fans around that game, you should have lost that game. All right? And plus, this dude hasn't been back to a Super Bowl since 2010. What makes you th- what makes you think he's gonna win a Super Bowl anytime soon? He- he's ever si- ever since he's been to the playoffs, it's been disappointment. Lost to Eli, not got blown out by the nine seven Giants. Then the next year gets blown out by Colin Kaepernick. Then loses to him again at home. Then he blows a 16 point lead to Russell Wilson. Now credit the onside kick. I'll give him a slight pass for that. But at the end of the day, he blew the lead. His defense gave him a chance for turnovers. 
So pretty much the defense gave him life. He blew a 16 point lead. I'll give him a slight pass because of that onside kick. Then he loses to Chris. Who, who is the Cardinals quarterback? I'm just going to call him Chris. He lost to overtime by the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I'll give him credit. He didn't have the ball in overtime. You know, Aaron Rodgers' last play was a Hail Mary to the end zone. Not his fault. I'll give him that. Then he gets blown up by Matt Ryan. Then the next year, he gets injured. Or explain that. 2018, he tanked to get McCarthy fired. Then 2020, he gets blown up by Jimmy G. Actually, no, not Jimmy G. Um, not Jimmy G, um, Raheem Mozart, because Jimmy G only threw the ball eight times. It just proves how pathetic that defense was that night. All right, let's get to more. Still have better numbers than Mitchell Trubisky, who's supposed to be Bears' best quarterback of all time. Who you picked over Rodgers? What does that tell you? Your quarterback is such. How about this? Was was there an Aaron Rodgers in that 2017 draft class? You have to remind me because I don't remember a quarterback in that draft was named Aaron Rodgers. All right, so rethink that. It's a fucking trash can. You know, out of all, the, out of the quarterbacks that came into the league between uh, Watson, Mahomes, and Trubisky, you traded up to the second pick to get Trishitty. You traded up to get a quarterback who seriously might be one of the worst quarterbacks. We're starting quarterbacks in the league right now. You traded up. And your quarterback is the most overrated, is the most overrated quarterback in the league who has one Super Bowl. At least Drew Brees is, at least Drew Brees gets close enough to a Super Bowl. Should have had to if the referees didn't blow that call, but it's but if you want to go back to that draft, the 2017 draft, look look at the top five, maybe top ten prospects in that draft. I could tell you the top two were Deshaun Watson, obviously, and Mitchell Trubisky. Look it up. No one, no one was thinking about Mahomes. I said it once, I'll say it again. No one was thinking about Mahomes. Maybe you, but not everybody else. No one can predict Mahomes. No one can predict Mahomes. So you you can shut up about Mahomes. All right, no one was thinking about Mahomes going on in that draft. And you think and you think Mahomes or Deshaun Watson will save the Bears from the position that they are in right now? You they won't. They won't. All right. Statistically, the worst we've seen out of this play card was 2019. Still went 500, and still had. Um, Statistically, a better defense than the Packers that got torched by in the NFC Championship. So pretty much, out of all, the Vikings would have won the, that division. And I'm saying this as a loyal Bears fan. The Vikings were the rightful winners that year. They should have won. After that, the second overall pick. A second overall pick was worth on Watson or Mahomes. A second overall pick. And, um... Watson, I can agree with that. All right. Watson should have been top five pick, but he should have been, but he was picked like in the mid 10, but second overall pick. Let's, let's go back in time a little bit, Minnie. Let's go back in time. Mitchell Trubisky was a top 10 pick. Lots of, lots of them, lots of prospects had him going to the Cleveland Browns. Lots of prospects had him going to the Jets. Lots of prospects had him going to the 49ers. Lots of prospects had him going to uh, the Chiefs. Lots of, and plus Mahomes, everybody thought he was going to be a late round pick, which he was predicted to go late in the, he wasn't worth it at the time. Everybody said he was going to have one good year than fair, or everybody said he was going to be a bust. He wouldn't save the Bears, all right? He's a project quarterback. He's in the perfect situation. He has playmakers like Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins, Travis Kelsey, and a very, and probably arguably one of the greatest head coaches of all time, Andy Reid. So let's get into more of this clown here. Was not worth on Mitchell fucking Trubisky. You could have got Trubisky in the second third round. You want to talk about Jordan Love? Jordan Love hasn't even played again in a snap of. And you could have got Jordan Love in the fourth, in the early second round. 
Yeah, you really can't defend the Jordan Love pick. But I'll, let's listen to what he says. At least Trubisky can hit a fucking practice net that's five feet in front of him. Meanwhile, Jordan Love can't hit a... F- Jordan Love can't even hit a net if his mother was hold at gunpoint. My problem is with Aaron Rodgers is how he tanked the season and get McCarthy fired. I've already explained that. He didn't like McCarthy. It was pretty much confirmed in 2018. He didn't want to work with McCarthy. And there's been reports by the media, people that worked with the Packers have said that Aaron Rodgers was frustrated every time McCarthy called him to play. And plus, you had playmakers in 2018. You had Randall Cobb, who's still good right now. You had Devontae Adams. You, MVS was good in McCarthy's system. Now he's a bum right now in Matt LaFleur's system. So how about let's continue on. Is light years ahead of Mitchell Trubisky in any way at all? Watch Mitch go to the Patriots and when they play. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. They drafted Jordan Love because Aaron Rodgers is washed. I'm not. I'm convinced you're not even a real Vikings fan, to be honest. Vikings fans don't talk good about Aaron Rodgers. Game recognizes game, Michael. Just because you're a fucking retard doesn't mean other people are retards. They don't. Okay. How? Okay. So by your logic, this Vegas, um, not Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is a loyal. Skip Bayless. Um, and many other Vikings fans said that Aaron Rodgers is pretty washed up. And many analysts said that Aaron Rodgers hasn't been the same mobile quarterback. And many people that I talk to at my job right now that work security every time the, an NFL stadium, and they all said Aaron Rodgers is an asshole, which he is. He, can't, he doesn't have a good relationship with his parents. I want to see you defend him on that. He can't keep a girlfriend. That's why Dana Pratt, Dana Patrick broke up with him. Don't talk. They don't say how good he is right now. And as far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't even be defending the Packers because Pac- Packers fans trail you guys how you haven't won. You went to four Super Bowls and didn't even win a single one. So is what is there any reason why you're the? Is there any? exact reason that you're defending the shit. Come on, man. And then, because he has a fucking brain like you. That account is... Okay. Sam Olsen. I don't know if he's watching this. I don't know if he's still active on that um, Michael Stark Clown Police account on Instagram. I don't know if he's still active, but... All Vikings fans do is say how Kirk Cousins is better than Aaron Rodgers, which I will admit, I have to take crow on that. Kirk Cousins ain't better than Aaron Rodgers. All right. All they do is bring up stats why Kirk Cousins is better than Aaron Rodgers. All right. That's all they do. And he's saying, I hate the Packers. So you're admitting Aaron Rodgers is sweeping, is going to win the division, is going to sweep you. Because we all know he's sweeping the Vikings because the Vikings are statistically in a dumpster fire right now. They're going to they're gonna move shit around pretty soon. And if he's watching this, you... Mm, I don't know, man. You just... Well, I don't know if he's watching this. I don't know if he's still active on that account. But if he is... You don't have... He doesn't have a brain mini. You don't either because you made... How long is this video? Um, 46 minutes. 46 minutes. You could have done... If I did that long of a video, I'd be... If I was paid to do that, I'd be a million year. All right, let's continue on. Because I'm... Because I'm... Just, okay. Because I know Sam is not that account. I already lined him up. I already know he's doing this again. You have to this fly, whole entire firing range thing is something that people should worry about. Well, nobody cares. 
Seriously, I don't even know. I still don't even know what it is to this day. And do I care? No, I don't. I don't really care at all. Okay, Minnie. Your firing range is coming up soon. Doesn't matter if the Packers make the playoffs because they're going to choke. All right. When the Packers blow it in the playoffs or they don't make the playoffs at all, you're getting lined up. Okay. You are getting lined up. Yeah, let me skip to the part. Go, go ahead and look back at all your videos in the, the past 40 videos you've made and add up all the dislikes to all the likes. And, and see, I get... Let me tell you why that doesn't matter. Like, If you think that m my career is based on my likes and my dislike ratio, because I've said this once, I'll say it again. You Packers fans pay bots to dislike my content. You do, because if you didn't pay bots, I wouldn't get f many bots sending me porn links. They wouldn't. If I, if you guys didn't pay any bots, I wouldn't be getting these websites to porn websites. And you Packers fans are sick. You Packers fans are sick for paying these bots to um, give me links to these porn websites. And I know they're porn websites because I know the links. I know you want my account information. Well, guess what? I'm not too stupid. I know they're bots. I don't, as a matter of fact, I don't want you to have a like and dislike ratio. If you think that many, I do not care. If you think that I'm going to just throw out my criticism of Aaron Rodgers because some Packers fans like you, do not like my criticism of Aaron Rodgers. Okay. That means I'm going to quit. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to quit. Because you want to know why, Minnie, I'm not going to quit. The difference between me and you is I don't care what people say. You, if somebody says you're shit, you take it seriously. That's the problem with you, Minnie. You've been going after my family. You, you claim you know everything about me. Let me make this clear. You go after you go after one of my family members. It's not gonna end well. Just give me an above fifty. Let me check what time it is. Oh, this actually <laughs> this actually is getting longer than I expected. All right, let's continue. If I get bored, I'll let you know. I guarantee you that the amount of dislikes to likes, I'd say, is at least ten times the amount of dislikes. To like I okay, me. I've spoke to people on Instagram. I actually spoke to people in real life about you. And many people just said you're a jerk. Many people said you're obsessed with me. Many people said many, many people say I live inside your head. Because if you didn't, you your bio is literally calling me a bitch. So pretty much that proves your answer. All right. All right, let's continue more with this fucker. I would put my, my all of my savings, my earned money on that shit. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and look back at those dislikes and likes, and uh, come back here and tell me. Okay, who enjoys your fucking content? My attention. There's many people that enjoy my content, bro. The more people encourage me to upload videos on Instagram. All right, no one says my videos are shit. Because if they did, I don't really give a fuck. You really think? If you enjoy my content, then why are you clicking on my video? You have a choice. No one has a gun to your head and say, watch this video. Because no one's forcing you to watch my video. You can click off. And plus, you probably exist for two reasons in my life. Number one, you saw my Matt Ramage video. You probably were a fan of this or a subscriber. Because once I did that, every single Packers fan was paying bots to dislike my video. And number two, you were probably a part of that cold-hearted group chat, the biased group chat, who I still remember to this day. And I hope they get the help treatment that they are because of their bad history that I got from this anonymous person. So pretty much you only exist for those two reasons. And he's got it. And I'm not giving it to him anymore. I'm not giving it to him. 
retard. I'm not giving. I. It's been months since I called out Sam Wilson. So pretty much, he didn't have my attention for like. It's currently no, technically November at this point. So, the time that this video was uploaded was August. So it's like two months from now, maybe three. He should have never made that. It's stupid. It was a stupid idea. Out of all. It's not a very stupid idea. I actually really enjoyed it, Mike. Okay, you really enjoy the start the police account. All right, because Sam Olson is currently playing football right now in some high school league. I know he wants to probably play for the NFL. If, and if he doesn't, he shouldn't because those that account is going to get, you know, if you have a job, they're going to background check you. All right, it happens all the time. And if, you, and if they find out you're making fun of somebody, calling them a clown, and calling these other names, His idea was to, to create that account. Obviously, Sam's, if he made it, he would be there as well. Someone in Osme told me Sam got the idea from somebody named Dino, who's a part of the biased fan chat. So, pretty much, you got your whole thing mixed up. Probably. Okay. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're going to regret it seven months from now. Why would seven months from now somebody, make, somebody regret making fun of you? Okay. I'll say this one. I'll say it again. If he loses his job because of making that account, you can't say anything. If he gets criticized by his workers, because, you know, football. They look over your social media. Why do you, what, what, what do you think that got Antonio Brown out of a job until now? What made you think that Colin Kaepernick is currently not getting a job right now? All right, because he talks too much. You're a fucking retard. That's never going away, Michael. Sorry to say. Doesn't matter how many times Instagram thinks takes down the account, is always going to come back. Right. That's just how life works, man. You're not always going to get what you want. The Bears sucking ass for 40 straight years. Sorry. I, I bet. If the Bears suck ass for 40 straight years, why have we made the playoffs? Like, um, Statistically, we made the playoffs in 26. We won the Super Bowl. No, no, no. We didn't win the Super Bowl in 2006. We've been to the Super Bowl in 2006. We went to the playoffs with Cutler, and we should have won that NFC Championship game if he was healthy. But that's how Aaron Rodgers got his one Super Bowl ring because of Cutler's injury. If Cutler was playing, he would ha he, that ring would never exist for him. Because I know what you're gonna say. Let's look at the stats of Jay Cutler that game. You don't know what would have happened. You don't know what would have happened if Cutler stayed in that entire game. Just like you don't know what would have happened if the Bears made that field goal against the Eagles. Because that Bears defense was legit in 2018. That Bears defense was number one in every single stat in defense. The Bears defense was the best in the league that that um year. It's not best as the 1985 Bears. So pretty much, if you're going to say we sucked for 40 years, why have we made the playoffs in those 40 years? If you're going to say that to somebody, say that to Lions fans. Because they, the last time they won a playoff game was probably when me and you were born. I feel bad for your stupid-ass organization. You draft when you draft people. And I don't feel bad for your organization that doesn't provide the talent that Rodgers needs. Because they had two greatest, the, arguably two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, and they only got one Super Bowl. And you want to compare, to, I don't know if you compared Brett Favre to Tom Brady, but you compared Aaron Rodgers to Tom Brady. Do not, this is, and I'm sending a message to every single Packers fan out there, do not put 
Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady in the same sentence unless trash comes out of Aaron Rodgers' name. Top prospects before in that draft. That account should have been terminated yesterday. As a matter of fact, that account should have been terminated right now. Oh, my God. Brian, because you made 28 million videos on me that didn't even equivalent to one of mine on you. Sorry. If you don't, well, I'm, not, I'm tired of explaining why the Bears are going to do this season. They're not, you fucking retard. I'm tired of explaining. We are currently 5-2. and two. Yeah, we lost to the Rams. But we got the Saints next week. It should be a winnable week because Drew Brees isn't really looking like the mobile quarterback he is. We do have a bot. We can beat the Vikings. We are going to lose to the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill looks like a mobile quarterback with Derrick Henry just running the goddamn football up the guts with everybody. So pretty much there's your answer. So, okay, so. Just want to have your little, oh, the Vikings and Packers are going to battle for the first stop. They are. And the Lions and the Bears are going to fight for the bottom. Well, uh, I don't think they're going to fight, fight for the bottom. I think the Bears already are automatically locked a spot in the fourth place in here. Okay, at that age, you very well. Guess who's in the fourth, in the fourth uh, division column right now? The Vikings. Sorry to bring that up to every single Vikings fan because I want to make a point. Because the Detroit Lions are easily better than the Vikings right now because the Vikings are full of rookies that are on defense and offense. The team might be better next year, but until they fix that offensive line and they fire Mike Zimmer, they will not they will not prosper. All right, my best gonna happen. Still has it for the next two years. So, the dude went 13-3 last year. I'm not too worried about anything. That okay, if you're not too worried about anything, that means the next time you draft a or you sign a position, you don't even need. Let's look at the Packers offseason. Well, they didn't. Even the guy that they signed, that they he opted out the season due, due to the coronavirus. They failed to do that. So pretty much. Yeah. You go back to the receiver problem. You're tight. I don't even know who's your tight end at this point. Tanya, he's good, but he's not the tight end that you could count on to make plays. He's not the top, the George Kittle tight end. So he's not the Jimmy Graham tight end that could just go in the red zone and catch. So pretty much there goes your season. And your defense regress. You moved on from Blake Martinez. You went from you went to Christian Kirksey. Who was out for the season? Christian Kirksey. And you said it would have been, it's worth a gamble. Well, guess what? Was it worth the gamble? Blake Martinez is, because I hear this from Giants fans, including stuff from Fist Vegas. Shout out to him, by the way. Here we go, Fist Vegas. Blake Martinez is a very good run stopper. And he has made plays. He has made plays because he has a good head coach, Joe Judge. Maybe he didn't look good under Matt LaFleur. <laughs> Yeah, Buffett. And neither did Jimmy Graham. And Jimmy Graham has prospered in the Bears system. Yeah, he might not be the best tight end the Bears have wanted, but he's still a good tight end. And he leads the Bears in touchdowns. So pretty much your Packers fans have to eat crow if he has a better career than Robert Tanya. What Jordan Lovekid is still better than your starting quarterback right now. What weapons does he have? What, the, what weapons does he have? Okay. Tell Jordan Love to hit a net five yards from him. Actually, he would have not hit a, hit a net if he was one yard in front of him. Tell Jordan Love to do that. Training camp happened and he proved to be a bust. Why do you think he's a third string quarterback? Why do you think he's a third string quarterback? Why do you think Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur are smiling and lovey dovey? Because of Jordan Love. If Jordan Love was playing like an elite quarterback at training camp, Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur were still not like each other. I don't give a shit about any NFL analysts. They probably said Kyler Murray is going to have a 
breakout year. Dwayne Haskins was going to have a breakout year. Who is currently on the bench right now? Who is going to get traded slash cut by the trade deadline? So pretty much, there pretty much goes your analysts. Analysts are dumb anyways. I'm pretty sure they say that the fucking years are going to make the Super Bowl. I'm pretty sure that they said the Patriots were going to regress, even though they have a former MVP quarterback and they have already the greatest head coach of all time. And Lazar, he's all right. Lazar's all right, but he's not special. All right. Randall Cobb is a special weapon. Randall Cobb was a special weapon. All right. He was a special type of weapon who you could have re-signed. But right now, I know he's on a losing Texas team, but you really know what you really don't know what would have happened. Maybe the Bears could try to get Randall Cobb and he gets revenge on the Packers. All that would be so great. Uh, look it up. I'm pretty sure Peter Schreiber, Kyle Brandt, um, what's his name, Nate, um, the dude from Good Morning Football, all said that they could expect Alan Lazard to have a breakout season. So, no, I don't. And how many of them said that Kyler Murray was going to be an MVP candidate this, candidate this year? How many of them said that the Patriots were going to fall on their face? How many people said said that Josh Allen was going to be an MVP this season? How many people? How many of those people said that the Bears were going to start off slow? How many people said that the? How many people said that the 49ers were going to start off great? How many people started off saying that the Rams were going to fall on their faces? How many people said that? Give me an honest answer. Do it. Mini, do a video on this. I dare you. Do a video on this. Because if you don't, proves how much of a pussy you are. Well, no, what the hell are you even talking about? Nanny one, you've literally named every single Packers receiver in the past and just shit on them. For that reason, because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, in the past, I I wouldn't say Randall Cobb was pretty shitty. Randall Cobb was probably your best two option. Lazar is nice. All right, Lazar is on. It. Look, I invested lots of fantasy on Lazar, but he's not a special type of receiver like Randall Cobb was, just like David Montgomery. Montgomery is a very nice guy. He's a very good player, but he's not special like Jordan Howard was. Name me one weapon you got besides besides Devontae Adams. Aaron Jones. Name me one weapon you got. Aaron Jones is only good at the receiving game. This is why you drafted AJ Dillon. Okay. As much as the running backs are good right now, as much as running you can't use a running back to throw the ball and just catch it. I know he's known for that. So is Tariq Cohen, but that's not going to win you games. Unless you switch Aaron Jones to receiver, he's not going to prosper. And plus, why do you – and plus, Aaron Jones is not staying on the Packers. Even if he does, it's not going to be the worth of money he wants. So he's going to be the Alvin Kamara type. So I could just say A.J. Dillon is going to be there every down back. So I'm going to get bored of this guy. Okay, you're taking shit that I said way out of content, my bro. Uh, look, Aaron Jones got me a lot of fantasy points because he was on my fantasy team last year. The year he had more reception. So pretty much Aaron Jones had a chance to catch a touchdown. Me and you both agree that Lions game, not the week 17, the robbery game. He could have had a touchdown, but he couldn't couldn't catch that. Now I'm not depending on a, a one pass. Aaron Jones is still a very good weapon, but he's not really a special type of wide receiver like anybody is in the NFL. He's not the t- old El Beckham. Did he not have a good receiving game last year where he literally went over 100 yards and was that two touchdowns? 
Um, I can't remember against the Chiefs. He had a good receiving. Oh no! I, sorry. Why not? Yeah, I don't happened. know where this. He has no. He has things to get from, but kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna get some rep. No. I cannot wait for AJ Dillon this year. By the way. Six eyes. AJ Dillon's far up his. Okay. AJ Dillon is not the only reason why AJ Dillon's not starting because he's a rookie. The, every time he's there, it's mostly when it's like f- first and go and when they're inside the 10. They're not a running football. The Packers are not really a running football team that just can hand the ball off, which is the only way you're going to hurt the Bears defense is if you have a very good run game. And they don't. The Packers don't have a very solid run game. They only just throw to the running back, which Kyle Fuller and Jalen Johnson will expose that. So pretty much there goes your option, unless you want to run the ball. But I don't really think that will be an issue, depending if Nick Foles turns it on very early, because he turns it on usually in the second season. Season, I don't know why. Excuse me, not second season. Gosh damn it. The second half season. Gosh damn it. I don't know who did that, but you were amazing for that. For showing pictures of AJ Dillon's legs. I don't know why he said foots of his legs. I don't know what the hell foots of his legs are. But I'm tired of it. Like, you're not gonna... Okay. Here's why I didn't get why people were showing A.J. Dillon's legs or foots of his legs according to what I said because I was actually pissed off because I was I was in a loop where I mostly did Packers videos every offseason saying how much they suck how much they didn't they fail to put talent around Aaron Rodgers even a 13-3 record and an NFC championship appearance so pretty much that shit fails. I'm like, man, I'm getting tired of talking about this guy every time, like in my videos. I didn't even know who the hell he was. Like I said, he was a he was probably part of Matt Ramage um, subscriptions, and he saw my video because Matt Ramage did shout out my video. I know he deleted it, but he didn't. He he was probably around. He was probably. He was probably one of his subscribers, or he's a part of that bad chat, the bias group chat. So pretty much, just asking for another bad season. What is another bad season? We went thirteen and three in the championship last last year. Okay, you statistically got help from the referees last season, and my good old friend, the one you said do productions expose that so pretty and you guys legit came after him even me but I actually this one Packers fan sound of him by the way if he's watching this video said that we didn't even deserve an NFC championship appearance because we got blown out and that shit was over before it even started why the fuck did you even think you have a fucking chance of making the Super Bowl that year every Packers fan could say oh I knew we would lose I knew we would lose well, bitch, you thought you would win. We're going to the Super Bowl. Guess what? You talk that shit. You can't back it up. You stupid fuck. What did the Bears do? Realistically, I would have you fight in the letter, but I'm being realistic here. Aaron Rodgers has never... Aaron Rodgers has never let a team be down by bunker. This is a five bunker team. I'll be good and say this is a five of the team. What the fuck are you? You you have Mitchell Trishitty starting as quarterback. You are automatically an under five hundred team because of that reason. We were five hundred with him. The only time Mitchell Trubisky was under five hundred was his rookie year. Two of the seasons that he was statistically under head coach Matt Nagy. He has finished above a 500 or below 500. No, not below 500. He was 500. So pretty much, even if he was starting, we would have a 500 record. And you could say that's because of our defense. At least we, at least we don't rely on one man to do the job, like you two, like you you guys do. You have a horrible defense. Your wide receivers are still garbage outside of Devontae Adams. So pretty much, your lineman is all right. All right. 
but I don't know how David, um, I'm just going to call him David. I can't say his last name, but he's probably going to be out for probably two months. I don't know how bad his injury is, but I don't know when he's coming back. Kamal, I don't really know. You really don't know what you're going to get off Kamal. He's a rookie. So you're not 500 teams that make the playoffs. The Steelers were a and a without a quarterback, without their star quarterback. They had. They also had the best, the best defense in the NFL. Yeah, I said it over the Bears, over the Patriots. Okay, if you're going to say that the Steelers have the better d- defense than the Patriots. Last year, yeah, the Bears' defense did regress, but they had a better defense. They didn't have the best defense in that year, but they were still pretty good. They they still carried us to eight wins. Yeah, we didn't make the playoffs. We still finished 500 with bad quarterback play. And let me tell you something, Vinny. Let me tell you something, Vinny. The Patriots' defense was number one last season. They had a washed-up quarterback. And they still twelve. They won twelve games, and the receiver core was god awful. And pretty much, it was a pretty good year for the Patriots defense because Bill Belichick. Whenever you go up against the Patriots, you're not playing against whoever they're starting. You're playing against Bill Belichick because his defense is legit. All right, let's, the Steelers do have a good defense, but they're not good defense last year, but they're not better than the Patriots. And let me tell you something, Vinny. The, the Steelers were 8-8 last year. Okay, you're giving them credit for going 8-8 last year, but when we go 8-8, we get laughed at. Patriots lost a bunch of people in the offseason for that black COVID. Uh, opting out this year, so yeah. Steelers have the best defense in the NFL as of right now. They do. Colts, Colts have entered the group chat. <laughs> we'll see if they're soft when they play you. Third string quarterback, Duck Foxes, and uh, and Juju Smith shoots it. Nine. He was gonna my prediction for the Rams is gonna be seven nine at best. Eight eight and eight can be at best too. Nine and seven at best. I'm tired. Like I know which teams are going to do good. I know the Bears are. <laughs> They're five and two. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible sound effect, and that's my face. Well, okay, Manny. When the Bears make the playoffs and do well, and when the Packers embarrass themselves, we're gonna we're gonna look back and laugh at this. Okay, the Bears upgraded last season. All we didn't do was upgrade the linemen. We got in Darnell Mooney, who has been looking like a complete stud for us. We statistically got um, Jimmy Graham, who's still a very good tight end. We got Cole Komet. We statistically have the playmakers, and we have Nick Foles right now. All right, don't talk about Mitchell. Please don't, because he's not the quarterback. Until he's the quarterback, you can talk about him. But as of right now, you can't say anything, so pretty much. Because I said so. Yeah, that Vikings team scares me. Um, I know the Saints are going to do well. And the Bucks might win 10 games. I, I'm not too sure about Tom Brady, because he's done. You just said in your other, other video that you're high on Tom Brady this year and you think that the Bucks are going to have an unstoppable offense and see them winning 10 games at least. I've had to see Tampa Bay winning 10 games at the bare minimum. But if they if the offense can t- torch that Packers defense, which I know they will, with Sean McCoy. Um, are you fucking like you? Okay, I never said I was high on Tom Brady. If we look back at that video, I just said I could see them winning 10 games at the bare minimum. And I said that they were going to torch that Packers defense. Because the, the offense is good. Why do you think Tom Brady looks good right now? Because he has playmakers on offense. I didn't say that the Buccaneers – look, man, I didn't say that the Buccaneers – I said I said 
I didn't say Tom Brady was high. I didn't say Tom Brady was the GOAT. I didn't say I was high on Tom Brady. I just said I just saw see them winning 10 games at best. All right, but sometimes 10 teams do not make that. They have an unstoppable – no, no, no. They do have a good offense, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, bro, I just said that they're winning 10 games. You're taking shit I'm saying way out of content, bro. Like, I can't with you. I can't with you. You call – like, you think – I give a shit what you think about my channel now. <sighs> Shall I continue? You know what? Since this is getting, you know what? We'll continue. Why not? I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I haven't heard of the Packers. You don't have to, like, their run defense is so garbage in that NFC championship. Yeah. We, let, we improved. We re-signed Kenny Clark, the core of that defensive line. Okay, Kenny Clark was available at NFC Championship game, and how did that work out? And plus, many teams have torched the Packers' defense this season. Let's go to week one. Kirk Cousins torched them, but that was garbage time. This Matthew Stafford torched them for a half. Then week three, Alva Kamara torched them, and they should have lost to the Saints. Matt Ryan, Falcons being Falcons. Buccaneers dropped 38 points with Kenny Clark back, mind you. And the Texans, 20 points. Texans being Texans. Look at their record. You really think that the Pack Packers are good because they beat up on some garbage um, defenses? Like the, the Saints, they have a good offense, but they don't really have a good defense. They got torched by Derek Carr. They got torched by – they should have lost to the Chargers. They should have lost to the Chargers. And don't give me, oh, the Chargers offense is good. It's not good. It's not. I love Justin Herbert to death. He is probably my second best quarterback coming out of that class besides Joe Burrow. I, I don't know what Tua I don't know how Tua is going to do in Miami, so I'm going to have to see him play. But they sh doesn't you really don't know what would have happened? Whoever what was his name Michael Beast, I don't know Michael Badger or kicked that field goal. You, you never know what would have happened. Rashawn is going to play more, so that will help him. That'll be a big factor because he had a big training camp. Preston and um, Preston. Smith brothers, Zadarius and Preston are still there on the edge. Okay, let me tell you something, Vinny, about the Smith bros. That you all say that's better. Zadarius Smith is better than Khalil Mack. Zadarius Smith is better than Khalil Mack. Okay, let's see Zadarius Smith. Zadarius Smith came over from Baltimore, which he's still pretty. He had a pretty good 2019 season. He finished with 11 sacks. I don't know why you think that's pretty dominant, but it is kind of dominant, but it's really not Super Saiyan dominant. The only reason why he had more sacks is because he was playing mostly garbage offensive lines. That's a, you, And plus, when they go up against a good offensive line, they don't do well. Their defense is garbage. Well, my, well I could just say their defense regressed and pretty much – Every area sucks on that goddamn defense. The run defense is crap. Their passing defense is crap. Their red zone defense is crap. And pretty much they're going to get torched by not Kirk Cousins. Because Kirk Cousins is looking terrible right now. 11 touchdowns, 10. You need to fix that up. All right. To contain the outsides. Christian Kirksey has been having a phenomenal camp, by the way. Um, when Ouch. Christian Kirksey had a good training camp. Out for the season. Gone. Who you said was going to be an upgrade over Blake Martinez. Guess what? You have some random starting. I don't know what his name. Summer and Kamal, Kamal Martin, which you're going to mention. He's a rookie. You don't know what you're going to get out of Kamal Murr. Like, I've seen it in Darnell Mooney because Darnell Mooney – has made his NFL debut, and he's looking like a steal so far. So pretty much, I know Darn Darnell Mooney's great. Cole Komet is very great, and he has a touchdown. And he has a lot – he's – many people saying he's the next George Kittle. 
because you're listening to these analysts, so pretty much you have no idea what you're talking about, man. Kamal Martin comes back because Kamal is looking like a promising rookie. That just stacks that line that middle linebacker duo, anyways. And they give up points for those. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Jimmy Garoppolo threw the ball eight times that game. So let that. How many uh, passes did uh, Jimmy Garoppolo throw in the playoffs against you? Oh wait. Kirk Cousins kept the damn Vikings in contention with Garoppolo. Yeah, they lost, but at least he threw a dart to Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs to um, keep the Vikings in contention. Yeah, they they lost, but at the end of the day, at least Kirk Cousins kept the Vikings in contention with the 49ers. And if you're saying, oh, the Bears, how many times did Garoppolo throw to, against the Bears? If we were facing Garoppolo right now, we would win. No question. Garoppolo has been looking like himself lately. He got blown out by the goddamn Dolphins. And who? And where's Ryan Fitzpatrick? On the bench right now. Okay, let's look at Miller. He didn't make the playoffs in the same game for a moment. But just because of what Bear said I'm not out of You are. You just sound really fucking retarded. Just because I'm a Bears fan. Oh. Okay, so pretty much by your logic, I'm a Bears fan. I can't talk. Okay, don't. So the next time Tom Brady wins the Super no, no, Tom Brady's not winning. Super- so next time Brady shows off his rings, you can't say anything because you're a Packers fan. And you think just because Aaron Rodgers throws good, he's better than Tom Brady. Do a video on that, please. If you think that Aaron Rodgers is momentarily better than Tom Brady, do a video why. Do a video why. And show highlights, please. Because many people just say Aaron Rodgers has, is more talented than Tom Brady. Look at the rings and tell me why. Oh, yeah, oh, and don't say if you put Aaron Rodgers on the Patriots, he would have more rings than Tom. So pretty much, do not say that. Please. Man, you, you have no rights at all. Like, I'm tired of explaining it. I'm tired of explaining it. So guess what? I'm drawing the line in the set. If you think the Bears are not going to win 10 games, you're biased. You've given me no actual reasons why they're going to win 10 games other than saying it, you literal fucking retard. I don't believe they're going to go to win 10 games. Neither does a lot, a lot of people. And they're not. Sorry. You're going 1 at 50. Okay, the Wendy City predicted us to go 11 and 5. Adam Rank predicted us to go 10 and 6. Like many Bears fans think that. Where even if it's a sign of regression, many, we could go 10 and 6. And your little logic, Michael Stark logic, okay. The Packers, okay, by your logic, Packers are going 16-0. and 0. No, 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 not 16-0 no, because they just lost. They're going 15-1 and 1 and making the Super Bowl. At worst, 4-12. and 12. All right. I'm going to, by your logic, by your logic, the Packers are going to go undefeated. They're going to win the rest of their games. They're going to the Super Bowl. They're going to win it. They're going to shove it in our faces. So pretty much, there goes your answer. All right, you're first in the NFC. Won't last long. You're gonna that will go to Seattle. I thought would go to the Bears, but Seattle, Seattle. I, yeah, I know Seattle lost, but they'll bounce back. Using your logic, you're going one and fifteen and winning your early game against the sad, sad Jaguars, who are tanking. You almost lose to the team tanking. The NFL season starts statistically seven seven days from now. Seven days from now, the Chiefs and the Texans are going to kick off the season. The Bears and the Lions are going to kick off in about ten days from now. Sunday night, the Rams and the Cowboys play, and we we're going to see Tom Brady versus Drew Brees. I'm not sold on Kirk. I'm not sold on uh, Aaron Rodgers. Does you want to know why? Aaron Rodgers is done with that. Uh, Matt, you're fucking retarded. Like, I cannot even react to this anymore with it or so. With- okay, if Aaron Rodgers is done, okay. Pretty much that draft pretty much confirmed that Aaron Rodgers is done in Green Bay. Because if, if it didn't, because if it didn't, ref- if, if, it, if he wasn't done in Green Bay, they would have never traded up in, in the first round to get a quarterback. 
Like, I don't think any other team would have took Jordan Love. At 30, you would still took Jordan Love. No other team would, took, would have took Jordan Love. Not even the Dolphins. Just not calling you Ricky every single time. You say something so just, just like I'm doing this. I have to shower it's soon. not even funny anymore, dude. I don't think he should be on another team. Wait, say that again? Who is that? I don't think he should be on another team. You don't think Aaron Rodgers should be on any other team. You better have a good reason for this. I swear to God. Okay. The reason why I don't think Aaron Rodgers should be on any other team because he hasn't been looking like the mobile quarterback he was since Anthony Barr tore his shoulder out of the sidelines. So pretty much there goes your answer. So pretty much I pretty much that's a very good reason he shouldn't be starting for any other team. And when he does, because he chokes in the playoffs a lot, I've seen Aaron Rodgers go off in a season, then he chokes. Okay, he's not winning MVP. It's going to Russell Wilson. It's a guarantee it's going to go to Russell Wilson. Maybe Lamar Jackson. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think he should be on the Vikings, Bears, or anything. He looks like he should be retired tomorrow. And that goes just as stupid. I don't feel like it's going to be one or anything. So yeah, you're tired. I can fucking tell. Benny. You're either putting on a really good act, a really good show for everybody, and acting like you're just this retarded, or you're literally just this fucking retarded. I'm having a hard time trying to decide what it is. <sighs> oh my god. He knows what now. Everyone's going to retire tomorrow, and the office won't give us any shit. I got it. They sure didn't give a shit when they took Jordan Love. <laughs> Even when they gave him a contract decision, they said, nope, we're trading up to get a quarterback. Fuck you, Rodgers. Retire. Even my uncles, even my uncle said that. They gave him that message. Retire. You know, when your team starts off doing bad, I don't want to hear a negative thing about that before. Because when I try... When I say fire Matt LaFleur after the... Because you're such a fucking retard. You're the, only buddy, you're the only person that thinks somebody should fire Matt LaFleur. We should fire Matt LaFleur because he led us to a 13-3 and three year. Okay, don't let that lucky record fool you. Okay, why should we... Keep, why, other than a 13-3 record and an NFC Championship, why should, why should you trust Matt LaFleur? And plus, let's not act like Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur were best friends at that time. My mouth is a little bit dry. Since that. 2014, 2013. So I don't know where. You are such a fucking retard. At least McCarthy so got Aaron Rodgers two MVPs. Should have been three. You stutter about everything. You can't pronounce your own players' names right. You can't pronounce shit. You can't get words out. You have the vocabulary of a goddamn seventh grader. I'm a sixth. And you're still in high school. You're still in high school. <laughs> that you're even sister. But look, I guarantee you if you show this to your sister, she's going to think you're a fucking retard. It's greater a matter of fact. You should just do it. Do it. I'll bet my money she's not. She's going to say, what a fucking retard you are. I'll bet my money on it. Want to bet? Show this to your sister. Do a reaction video with her on this video. No, no, not on this video. Or the video you did. Or, and she's going to say, you're such a fucking retard, I swear to God. Stop talking about stuff you don't understand, which is football. Focus on, focus on playing goddamn Outlast on your little shitty channel. And focus playing my, uh, Minecraft, which only five people watch. And I don't give a shit. And I don't give a shit if two people watch my life. I'm done with video game live streaming. You only have, like... At best, five people watching your live stream, and mostly people that are watching that are Packers fans or people that are with bias. The bias fan show. Nobody watches a 40, uh, 39. What do you have? 39 subs? Yeah, 39 subs. Um, I'm almost sure at 60. People that are going to watch it, one of them being me, okay? I don't care. Go. 
Minnie, even if you are on my live streams, you don't even want to, you don't even want to talk about the game I was playing. When I was playing Outlast for majority of the off season, all you talked about was the Bears, or you begged me to give you a moderator. You're not getting moderator. You are officially banned from doing anything on my channel. If it was up to me, if I was the owner of YouTube, your channel would be deleted so fast. Nobody, nobody pays attention to you. Nobody cares about you. Oh, no one pays attention? You're listening to my video right now. So pretty much, you are paying attention. Otherwise, you wouldn't make this video. You wouldn't even make a... You wouldn't even do anything. Like, no one is forcing you to click on my content, Minnie. This has been over an hour. Like, I feel like I'm talking in a loop here with you. Let me tell you something. This is a loop. I make a video. You make a video. I make a video. We just keep going in the goddamn back and forth. You, we need to stop. All right. You go after my family for no reason. All right. I don't know if you messaged my sister or not, but if you did, you're a fucking pervert. I get, like I said, show this to your sister. We'll see where this goes. I don't have a fan base. Nobody sticks up for you. Ever? Okay. No one sticks up for me. Then why did somebody named Kofi show him my way? You're the, you're the, and official lockdown, who is probably one of my favorite soldiers on Instagram. Shout out to him, by the way. Stuck up for me. So pretty much, I don't really care who sticks up for me. I'm pretty much a lone wolf at this point. I don't need anybody to support me. I don't need anybody to, like, I, I see my competition. I don't need a big channel to be famous. I don't need a big channel to be famous. I don't need 10,000 subscribers to be famous. I do not need it whatsoever. Because this isn't a job. You think it is. It isn't. I have a job currently. Which I'm not telling you about. All right, you don't need to know where I work. And I don't need to know where you work. All right, let's call a space a space. I'm 18 currently. I'm living. I'm living down here in South Florida, which I'm not. And I'm going to move. And pretty much, it's not. I, I live here in South Florida. So pretty much, I have a better life than you. All right, you just live at home in your little room doing these videos, being a sad little bum, having a picture of me and giving it kisses every night. So pretty much. Everybody dislikes your shit. What don't you get? Like, if nobody fucking likes you, stop trying. Like, I'm just face to face. Look at me right now, Michael. Stop trying. Nobody cares. You fast talk there. So pretty much, I'm not going to get any more to this video. All I have to say is, Minnie, you're a clown, dude. Like, really, you are a clown. You 